Hola, Muthoni here. One, sorry that this video is late. As you can tell, I've not been feeling well. I lost my voice in the middle of this project and it's slowly coming back, but unfortunately I'm still not like at 100%. This video is about how I built this beautiful sofa that has storage. And not just one, but two, because honey child, I don't come to play. I don't come to play. I never come to play. When the video starts off, I'll be explaining some of the things as I go along, but it got to a point where after I got sick, I couldn't do that. So Nick is going to take over with the video and he's going to explain all the steps and the decisions that I was making as this thing was going on. Very, very proud of myself and proud of how beautifully this sofa turned out. So what I did is I wanted to challenge myself to build a sofa that had storage for less than 10K. The two seater sofas that I I had asked all the people I asked, the fundies, no one, the least amount I was going to be charged was 18k for a sofa without storage, no storage, just a two-seater sofa. And I was like, let me challenge myself and see if I can do this. And I did it. The other thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that whatever sofa I make <coughs> can be expanded because this room is not the biggest, so I was not going to make a big seat in this room. In the last uh, office makeover i made a day bed and the day bed was made to the size of the room so moving forward i decided you know what i'll never do that again because once we moved here it was so hard to figure out what to and how to do to fix um the whole bed issue so i decided i wanted to make something that can be expanded so this chair is expandable like i can make bits and add on to this and it's going to be a complete sofa i said chair this sofa is expandable that's the other thing that i wanted to handle so my challenge was one half storage two spend 10k or less three make it expandable and guess what i did all three what i'm so sorry i can't even celebrate in peace I'm so excited, I'm so happy about how this turned out. So the first thing I did was draw up the sofa design and that uh, involved breaking it down into sections. I did that because it was my first time um, building a sofa. So the sections that I broke it down into are the sitting area, the backrest, the drawer space, the armrest and the drawers as well. Also, something good about uh, breaking it into sections, it helped determine the size of wood that I would need for each section. So once I figured that out, it was time to shop. Honestly, I shouldn't. Something in your smile that it makes me wanna come over. Can I come over? I wanna come over. Thinking about your ocean. Swimming pool is closed and I'm in the deep end. The waves are washing over. I know I'm not sober. Can I come closer? I wanna come over. Hola, Muthoni here. We are currently working on the office DIY, the office makeover. And for this video, I'm doing a DIY sofa because I was like, I wanted to make a sofa. I know, I know, I know. This is my first time building like a sofa sofa. So I'm going to take it very slow, be very careful with my measurements because it's very easy to mess up one measurement that's going to just mess up everything else. So I don't want to do that. Yes, Ziggy? Ziggy? Okay, so that's what I want to do. So this is the building the frame bit for the sitting area. And I noticed that the board was short by five inches. So what I did to fix that was I used leftover 3mm plywood and it pretty much made up for the difference. After that, I attached it using staples and then I hammered it 
down to secure it did that on both sides uh, and then from there added contact glue um, to attach the cushion and then I pressed it down After that, set it aside to dry and then basically repeated the process uh, with the board for the backrest. I created the frame for the sitting area using my method for making benches. Uh, this time I used thicker wood and extra support pieces just to make it stronger. Hey. So I have to do, this one is thicker. It's a lot thicker than this wood. And I'm using two inch screws. So I'm going to, I'm going to make holes first with this arrow spade arrow spade with this spade bit that way my screws can sit through this and this so after that i attach the cushion board to the frame now this is a disclaimer because this was actually quite difficult what i would suggest is that you make sure you attach the board to the frame first before attaching the cushions then after that i covered it with dicron 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 uh for a smooth finish and then stapled it down It's getting dark outside, but so all I'm doing right now is I'm stapling this underneath. I'm stapling this green fabric underneath the bench like this. And I'm going to do it all the way around, including up here, because I have all this excess fabric that we are going to use for the top. You'll see how. But that's all I'm going to do for now. And then we will continue with this together tomorrow, okay? So I'm just gonna keep doing this, and I'll see you tomorrow with this piece all nice and yummy. This is what we have so far. That's what we are looking, let me just, so that's what we are looking like so far and honestly i will not lie i am all obsessed oh gosh this is gorgeous good morning it's now day two uh those were three fingers it's day two of the sofa building process yesterday i decided i was going to finish stapling the bottoms i did not did i i did not i do not remember i am not sure today is not as warm and bright and sunny as it was yesterday but it's still very early in the morning it is like 9 30 so i want to continue now with the rest of the build for the sofa i want to do like the, um, the like what we did for the bed but now for the backing of the sofa now I'm like, I'm trying to think if there's any easier way for me to do that without having to um, cut each individual piece by itself and then attach it by itself and add the fabric by itself. Because the whole cutting the thingy just strip by strip, honestly, I ain't got the energy. Hi, let me place you here. So this is our bulge. Ah, some of it is under you. <laughs> Okay, you get to move then. There you go. So we have this board over here. I'm going to try and push it this way so you can see most of it. And this is the fabric that I have. So, because you see now, I, I might have enough. Because you see, I have to have an allowance for tucking in. Right. Ow. Ow. 
and this is like exact almost the same exact size as this thingy and since we're doing like the tucking in I might be able to use the excess fabric any part that um maybe like on the edge <sighs> yeah but now here's another problem how will I add the decro or what not <laughs> Ain't obvious. I just got the check for the positive. 750 for the sound wave to get it processed. Won't stop to that shit. Weighing down my pockets. My main thing still my main thing. She a blossom. Well, she ease the pain with the brain. She a doctor. She open up. Then it thing thicker than the plot gets. Swear that shit is awesome. Sight for the mm. optics. Young nigga on top. Like he's on the rocket. So that all the season checks from where the head to where the socks fit. No logo on the bifocal. Flicking no roach chips. Won't even show my face until all the shows. But eat the cash in advance. Leave them all social. I'm the guy they chosen. Rise up like the rose. Put them on a poster All the way up in the sky where the stars posted Sip it on that rose, I put it down on coasters Stack francs from the waves till I own the ocean More praises for the sayings, let it all soak in They like, hey, that shit is flame, bitch, I know I rode They going tight, dumb Dre when it on four shit Heavy off the four roses, that shit is poet From the code to the globe, rap on the road shit Till these niggas forfeit, double check the score and shit High y'all for the dub, shut the tear off the dub From the plug to the mug and I've added this piece um, for the back support so this it's going to make this a lot heavier and also so that the top when you lean on it it doesn't get wobbly over here my plan is to also add another piece in the middle just to add extra support now attach here like this and then go all the way to the bottom that's why i was measuring from the bottom to there because this is where now this is going to attach from the back from here going up so now that's what i need to attach i'm going to attach this to this board but i'm also going to attach these two together using my lug screws so i want to start i want to do this first but i also have to put the holes on this side up in the club hey just that shit that they think they on but not really on should be told i can't wait until all the ink is gone they ain't really going they just really born didn't mean to yawn but all the weed is gone i hope we over we don't go on that side and on the sides and on top keep it out the way trail ready how to see it i call it The cool thing is if it doesn't work, we'll still have the individual pieces already cut. So technically, we'll still be able to do this, only not have to stick one at a time. So I'm going to just do this, the separation, six degrees, six degrees of separation. Push the nini first, we push this in, and then we push our fiber. I feel like with a fiber it will work better. Let's just, ah, uh, not with a fiber, with a fabric. Ay. <laughs> First one. Just where it was. If I just separate Kidoga and then so I'm using my my fingers underneath and then pressing it from on top but it's not staying the way I see. Oh okay, okay, found something that's sort of working. Yay! Look! You can see the nini. Okay, when you pull it comes off. So Maybe I push to the side Kidogo and just put a... What's that thing called? Shotty don't play that game I won't keep you safe Time that I'll be okay Oh, don't play that game Shotty don't play that game I won't keep you safe Time that I'll be okay
so I'm doing like it's a fold then I'm pulling both pieces from both sides there and then I'll staple that down the bottom oh yeah you guys you died on me I messed up over here when I was cutting the fabric that's why it's looking dodgy but I have done the base the whole base and then I attached the backrest to the sitting area but for now and hey look the cats were already digging the space yay Never want to switch, I kept it solid, and it is what it is. Really gotta see it, I call it. Never want to switch, I kept it solid. I wanted this as 18, plotting on my daydream. Toss me on the stage until money ain't a thing, but in a safer on its way. At this point, half the job was done, and. Hola, so it's like very, very gray and dark outside. It's raining. This is the best my voice has been in the last like four days. So, three days. Yes. So now we're doing the second part of the sofa, which was um, the drawers section, which is now below here. And then after that, we are going to add our feet. So the legs, let me show you the legs, or rather the feet. So uh, let me get this first. Get my shit. I've had. I've had to set up a light because it's very, very grey and it's raining. So everything, I want to do everything in here because it's pretty cold outside. Even cutting wood outside, I'm worried that, you know, it's going to affect me because I'm in the healing process. Nick is here, he's waving. So the initial plan was to use these legs. So these ones you can buy from Gikosh. They sell this portion for 20 bob. So this is 40 bob for your legs. So for four, it's 160. And then in the shop where I got fabric, I was there buying stuff and I found this. I love shiny things. So I got distracted, but I just wanted, I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I'll decide when we get to it, but I really like the way these ones look. They're easy to install. You just use screws up here. For this one, I have to drill through the top, attach this to the base before I attach the base to the bottom of the <coughs> the bottom of the sofa. <laughs> so this one's at 200 bob. So if you're being bougie, you want something bougie, you can get this. And they come with the rubber thing at the base. This is all wood. I didn't want it painted because I was like, I might decide to do multiple colors on each leg or on different ones so I'm just this is just to give you options so if you want legs for your nini and this one's come in different heights so depending on how many of these two layers you get that's what determines that's why they charge per layer I used the method that I used in the floating vanity build I also added a strong center support piece using lag screws. Cut off the excess makeshift legs and attached a piece on either side that will hold the legs and the bottom board of the sofa. Also added an extra 2x2 two two to the center piece to make up for the difference in height. Attach the fancy legs using screws and the board to cover the base. And covered the back of the backrest with the fabric for a finished look. With the drawer space ready, it was time to build the drawers. I measured the drawer space and cut my wood to size and attached them to a box. I used the I attached drawer rails and the drawers were ready. At this point, it was time to add the armrests by attaching them to the exposed pieces of wood on the sides 
and covered them with the fabric for a clean finish. I used Dicron scrap wood and fabric to build the drawer fronts. watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't before if you haven't yet if you like the video and you like what you see and the kind of stuff we do over here please feel free to join our diy fam with very coming with cool pips and also don't forget to like and comment because that stuff helps my channel that's all i had for today the cats already love the sofa um to sit down i had to um brush off joey's cut far from this so no ginger ginger and joey was and joey just came in come baby hi baby he just he had his name and he was like yes so they've really been loving they've loved the sofa and so do i and so does me so um you know yeah leave comments below i would really appreciate that